What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in a brand new game called Two Point Hospital. If you're a big fan of Theme Hospital, then you'll be a fan of this uh, fantastic video game. I want to thank Sega for giving me a key a day early. This game comes out on Steam Early Access tomorrow. It's a little tycoon game. If you've never played Theme Hospital, how dare you? How dare you? Uh, graphics have been updated and uh, it's basically a whole brand new game. So let's start a whole brand new game. Let's do it. Oh my At two-point hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Teeing off at three, and I'm gonna <laughs> definitely gotta try and fix these clowns. I could try to make a clown and turn him back into a real person again. Can I cure the clown of out of him? Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. Hey, Mr. Al. Hey, hey, Mr. Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor in this journey. Well, howdy. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. I'm clicking. I'm clicking on it. Thank you. Hogsport, begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital start. I will do that. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these episodes, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. That's how I know. That's how I know you like to, you want to say more. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Sure. Look around the hospital. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around to move. Go ahead, w -A let me guess, WASD. No kidding. It, does this really need to be in a tutorial? I'm just being, I'm being, being grifty. Uh, the first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Click on the items and select the reception. Items. Reception. Oh, look at you. All right. <clears throat> Hold the left mouse button and drag and drag left or right or the Z. The next key is there. That's what we need here. Oh, or you just hold the left mouse key and move it. So it can only move by 45 degrees. Okay. Got a nice little reception area. Hit you right at, the, right at the front there. Let's do it. Great. We'll need an assistant to run a reception. Let's hire one now. Click the hire button and select the assistant to view job applicants. Okay, I will. Hire. Assistance. Rich Avocado. Jess Plop. Samantha Squee. Click on hire then assistant select the job applicant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, these two are more qualified. Jess, I'll tell you what. I hate avocados, so let's go ahead and we'll hire. I'm like the one guy who doesn't like avocados in this world. Oh. Click on hire the assistants and then drop them near the reception. There you go. This is all you right now. General practitioner's office. Great. Before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. GP will assess patients to decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Let's build a GP's office right now. Let's go ahead. Room building. To build a room, click on the rooms button and pick one from the list. With the room selected, drag out a floor plan of appropriate size, then place the required items in the room. We're learning here. It's all about that knowledge, son. GP's office. Okay, so it looks like two, it looks like three by three is the, the basic. They're so basic. Now I'm looking at the uh, diagram over here and it gets three by three, but it looks like there's plenty of room. Not to have dark thoughts. Boom. And we got ourselves a little desk right here. A filing cabinet. So it gives you, oh, okay. So it gives you all the different things that you need to succeed. Okay. We could put a bin in here for another 50 bucks. Sure. I like how there's like a nice vicinity angle here. So if you want to move some stuff around, you totally can. 
and you can make it your own. That's nifty. I dig it. Let's go ahead and we'll move this into the center. And we'll put the trash can over here. What else we got here? Plants, medicine cabinets, lamps. Got to unlock it. Okay. Check mark. Hey. Doctor whom? Excellent. Now we'll need a doctor to run the GP's office. Hire one meow. So to the hire. Let's go to the doctors. Doctor. Doctor. Paul Massive. Rose Thumper. Erica Trollope. You're listening to <laughs> Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Is that a DJ? Are we listening Welcome to a radio station? Welcome to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Okay. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Okay, hold on, give me a second here. Uh, settings, audio. Hey, let's put that DJ voice as low as we could possibly go, please. Thank you, appreciate it. No offense to the DJ, I used to be a DJ. Uh, I could appreciate the, <laughs> I could appreciate it, but I don't want to listen to it. Hey, what's going on? Here's a drive time commute. We're going to be the five and five. Uh, Paul Massive, inspiring, motivated, green fingers, keeps buying scars, but doesn't use them. Rose Slumber thinks their life is a rom-com. Keeps buying scarves just because you think her life is a rom-com. I don't care for it. Treatment increases treatment skills. Yeah, but she's got the good treatments, though. Increase the happiness of patients when dealing with them. Staff full qualification. Increase happiness. Okay, 10%. Staff qualification, zero. And what is this? Increase diagnosis skills. Staff, oh, you know what? It's three and a half stars. I don't know, she's got one more qualification. I'm gonna go with it. Lost and found report. Green sock. Medium to large hole. Hospital open. Good news, our hospital's now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at a reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. All right, so are we gonna need like a bench? I think we're gonna need a bench. Zooming and rotating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can zoom, rotate. Zoom, zoom your camera. And then we can pitch the camera. First things first, what I want to do is I want to make a bench. Um, let's go ahead and we'll spin. Turn around. And we'll build this up here in a hot second. Let's put just two of those there. Hey, what's going on? Winston Bamshoot. His mood is kind of okay. Temperature is comfortable. Log. I, lo I, I love log. Let's get that menu out of here. Hey Doc, so I got this problem. Can you look at this? Oh my god. That's gross. You diagnosed the first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message. Listen to the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Build a pharmacy, you say. Inbox pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Grout. Gross. The human body is disgusting. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Unlike earlier items, or, uh, <laughs> items at times, when it had to be a drug or painfully or out pain oh my god dug out painfully with a screwdriver the patient is seeking treatment we need to build a pharmacy in order to treat them the cost will be seventy six hundred dollars to build would you like to do it be get a patient away send patients home get patients away i got your pharmacy right over here i'll tell you what since the pharmacy is going to be something that's going to whoa did i click and drag Build a pharmacy and hire a nurse. So I can't. How big does this thing have to be? Minimum room size three by three. So what's the problem there? Oh, I'm doing the minus. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I was, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, okay. There we go. Patients are reminded not to think about it. Since the pharmacy is going to be the most uh, frequented thing here, let's go ahead. 
We got a pill poppers right here. Is that it? Is that all we need? Got a drug mixer. Put a fire extinguisher in here. It seems like that would be a smart thing to do, especially with all these people out here. Okay. Sure. Oh, I got rid of the benches. Oh no. Okay. Everyone's OCD right now is killing them. That's okay. It's gonna be fine. There's a plan. There's a master plan here. All right, so, higher. Employee in reference to screen fingers, hygienic motivated, has bad feeling about this. I don't have a bad feeling about it at all because you're gonna be our pharmacist. Now mix them drugs, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure simple illnesses. Let's see if our new staff is up to the task. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll grab some items. And we'll get ourselves some new benches. Because no one has a place to sit. And we'll change that. They're like, oh my god, thank you. Staff are reminded to get back to work. I used to love Theme Hostel back in the day. I would knock out a bunch of different things. Oh, energy drinks right here? Oh, luxury snacks. We're going to get those eventually. There we go. Five grand. Beautiful. Achievement. Give a man give a man a hospital. Well done. We've cured, we've, cured, we've cured our first patient. We've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep that money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Staff announcement. Hey. hey. Everyone, we're the best. We're the best. Oh, bro. Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. Higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for her. Okay. So we got a line. We got a doctor. We got a pharmacist. We got 180 grand. Okay. Well, I kind of remember some of you. Right, so we haven't really unlocked any other things here. Janitors and maintenance. Aha. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be fire hazard. Obviously, fires are generally considered erm bad. Erm the bad for business. Hire a to maintain machines while you're at it. Make sure you've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry, right? I was thinking ahead there, bro. I was totally thinking ahead, bro. Oh, look at this. Hannah Light. Litterer. Wait, she's a janitor and she litters? How dare she? You can't tie a tie unless they're wearing it. Vince Rake, inspiring, nausea-inducing, believes they have an understanding with ducks. I understand. Positive, slightly above average spice tolerance. Huh? See, this guy, these, these two have some banging mechanical skills. What does this one do? Stamina training, energy drains at a reduced rate for work longer. Well... We're all about working longer, working harder, working longer, harder to survive. Place two fire extinguishers. Let's go ahead. We'll grab some items here. I got your fire hydrant right here for your extinguisher. Janitors will be called to repair a machine when its maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request I uh, missed what the rest of it was saying. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure there's like a lot of talky talky, no more talky here. Okay. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure a hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure you have an access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat. When they're between appointments, if they become unhappy, they will leave and go to another hospital. Oh my god, well, let's not do that. What kind of messages we got? Rotate an item when holding an item. Okay. See, yeah, I'm aware of that. What are you telling me that for? Like I, like I don't already know. There we go. Snacks machines. I got your snacks machine right here. How about a drink machine too? Get some soda pop and some snacks. Boom. Patients are reminded not to be sick. Got a leaflet stand right here. Go ahead and get yourself something to read. Plants. Plants. Uh, we got a Japanese Japanese uh, peace lily. Increase, uh... Oh, and it gives a little bit of glow to everybody. Oh, okay. 
If you're near a plan, it will help you get better. Staff energy and break. Staff get tired as they work. They will eventually go on break. A staff room will uh, help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help keep them happy too. If you make a little room larger it will, will, and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Well, I guess I gotta get myself a staff room then, huh? Okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, I keep forgetting the drag. Put the staff room right there. Got some staff couches. Casting couch. Oh, excuse me. What? You heard me. Um, how about we get ourselves another drinks machine? Burp. Snack machine. Got ourselves a nice chair here. Get some lockers. Put three lockers in there. Um, I've never been a big fan. Let's put a waste bin here, too, just in case. And a fire extinguisher in case uh, something goes down, you know? Uh, plants. Plants are always clutch. Make everyone come on, get happy. Ready, set, and boom. The wallpaper is egregious in this joint. Staff <laughs> will head to the staff room when they're on break. Fill the room with interesting items to help the, them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Note, you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them uh, make them take a break. Oh. Or in a work room to make them work there uh, to pick up a member of the staff. Hover them over them. Hover over them. I'll take the janitor. Yeah, check it out. Take a break. Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients are will be getting grumpy. Uh, don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Yes. In the event of a fire, please run for your lives. Please run for your lives. I'll tell you what. We'll put the bathrooms, the bathrooms over here. Oops. Toilet cubicle. Got two of them in there. We got a sink. Got the hand dryers right next to it. Let's get a trash can because people are gross. Um, I think that'll be okay for the time being. Um, unless. There, three toilets, that'll do. Boom! We have toiletins. Yeah, we have toiletins. Janitors will empty bins and unblock toilets. Uh, speaking of trash. Janitor, to repair drug mixer. Oh no, the drug mixer's down. You. Hospital level, as you expand, the hospital will, uh, with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. The larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP offices in other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for a queue warning above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. Oh, okay. I think we're decent at the moment here. So this tiger seems like they're a little bit tired. Oh, they're a little tired. They're a little grumpy. They're a grumpy grumperton. Doctor needed in GP's office. Oh, so check this out. General diagnosis. So staff, nurse, general diagnosis, basic diagnosis for scanning and reflex checks. Okay. They're fixing some stuff here. Now, what's our budget like? Is there any way for us to actually check cure... Two patients, unlock ward. Get hospital to level two. Okay. Now finances, I can only see here. 
So, oh, okay, revenue, 16,000, expenses, 6,000. Oh, so we're making 10 grand in profit. Well, in that case, let's make ourselves a second GP office. Boom. We can make it basic, because we're basic as hail. Tra let's get a trash can here. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and hire ourselves another doctor. Doctor? Wilson Flob. Luke. Luca Peppermint. Unhygienic thinks their life is a rom com. Their best friend is an ostrich. Jesus. Uh, unhygienic, their dog has no nose. What? Melissa Flob. Funny, a natural mentor. High energy, nearly got to the top of Pointy Mountains. Well, you know what, ma'am? I know that you have increased treatment skills. You, though, have increased diagnosis skills and then increased diagnosis skills. I'm going to hire you because you're upbeat. This lady just totally stole your office. So there you go. We got that going on for us. Oh, we've lost all forms of diagnosis on a patient and we still don't know how to treat them. We'll need more diagnosis rooms. Otherwise, the patients will leave. Okay. One of our patients, Hannah Cougar, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms, but we're only 78% sure of the diagnosis. We can ask them to wait until we have more diagnosis rooms. Uh, take a risk and treat them anyway, or send them home. What would you like to do? Send them to wait. Because now we have general diagnosis. Oh. oh. Well then. I did it again. So this is a 3x3 three three room. General diagnosis. Awesome. Boom. So now we need to hire ourselves a nurse. Anna Dingle. Anna Dingle. The girl next door wraps presents wraps presents better than you. I bet you do. General diagnosis. So now we got ourselves a nurse. We have two GPs. And we got this. And good news, we've, we've cured 10 patients. Oh, look at that. Earn 15,000, 5,000 remaining. Nice, nice. Oh my God, we're getting so many messages. Staff promotion, Melinda Asher is ready to prom uh, for promotion from student nurse to junior nurse. Promotion from student nurse to junior nurse will provide one sign. Okay, nice. Offer a pay raise to keep staff happy. Current salary 14,000, new salary 16,000. It goes 16,5. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, bed face. I have that right now. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. We shall tell you to wait. We need to treat bed face. Resting bed face. All right. How big does the ward have to be? Four by three. We'll just stick it right in the corner here. One, did it again. Boom. cramped in here. I'm not going to lie. Let's put that there. Hey, over here. All right, well done. The hospital levels increased. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them, and they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds into a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room settings. Oh, okay. So we'll hop over here, room settings. Edit. Edit blueprint of the room. Oh, okay. So we got these people, we got this nurse over here. They're going nuts. Hospital star rating, thank you. One star rating, oh my god, there's so many things going on. All right, so now we can treat some more things, but we need to hire a nurse. Because this nurse is gonna be running ragged. Can't have that. Hugh Mills, Garth Horn. Hey, Garth. 
In you go, Tiger. All right. Our new il new illness, Bogwarts discovered. Our discoverer has discovered a new illness, Bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. <laughs> oh! By completing objective and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Take a look at the uh, items list. Any item with a padlock can be unlocked using K. Best of all, we can then purchase that item in any of our hospitals. Use it, use it, but use it wisely. A new illness, misery, guts. Oh my God, misery, guts discovered. Our doctors have discovered new illness, misery, guts, chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. Nihilistic. Good God. We'll send the patient treatment of our pharmacy. Okay. I'll tell you what, man. Everything's looking okay. Everything's starting out all right. We're making a little bit of cash. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too off the wall. But we got different places for people that are need to uh, get get bed face taken care of. I love the animations. I'm also watching this guy get undressed. It's kind of creepy. I apologize. Get yourself better, you dumb bed face looking dude. You all right? Oh my god. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, lightheadedness. Lightheaded patients are notable due to their bulbous head. Oh my god, the patient is seeking treatment. It will need a deluxe clinic in order to treat them. It will cost 21,000 to build. Would you like to do it? It's kind of a little close there, don't you think? Get the patient to wait. We'll get him to wait. Oh, check this out. They have light bulbs for heads, bro. Yo, what's up with your head, man? You got a big light bulb on your head. That's hilarious. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's an illness. It's an illness. I know I need a, <laughs> you're, you're here for treatment and I'm making fun of you. Um, a deluxe clinic. This needs to be a 3x3 three three room. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. We'll put this next to the GP's office here. Watch out there, janitor. So I can't put that there, huh? Okay. Well, then we'll have to put it there. I just want to see what this looks like. I just want to see the animation for it. I want to see the people get cured, sir. There we go. Doctor required in Deluxe Clinic. Yeah, get the move on there. Hospital reputation is good, but this will attract even more patients and staff. Come on, I want to see this. We'll see this and then we'll, uh... Oh, we're losing money now. Hold on. Once we treat these clowns, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Quick! Get him a new head! Get him a new head! Excuse me, this wasn't, this wasn't my first head? This wasn't my first head. I dig the music though. Not so much the DJ, but uh, we'll figure it out. Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot going on. We got bulb heads coming in here all day, all, every, every day. Folks, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel over so much more to know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. It looks like we got too many nurses and not enough, uh, not enough treatment. Got too many nurses. This one's just sitting around here. Nurse Dingle, Nurse Dingle. It looks like we have a whole bunch of nurses that are in here as well, or people that are waiting to get in this ward. We probably have to expand this at least once so we can put a bed in here. Right, let's just do that real quick. Let's see if we can edit this. Oh my god, private message. Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's uh, one out of possible three. 
By the two point health ministry, I have retrieved your file from the bin to celebrate. <laughs> Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Wackity, schmackity. All right. So t take this. We're going to move this over here, too. More beds equals more patients that we can treat equals more money. And of course, I. All right, so three's all I can fit. Got a nice window. Okay. Can I take this? I can move this right here. Hey, all right. Build room not ready yet. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, we gotta spread them out a bit. Now nah, we're good. All right, now we can hold four patients. Now nah, what are we looking at here? Look at that revenue. Boom, $33,000 in profit. We're making money, folks. It's happening. So, folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, Rise hit that like button. Shine, oh, my everyone. God. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grog Ben's Ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. It should. It should. We'll stay at our one star here. Reputation level four. So folks, like I was saying, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel deliver so much more to know. If you have any hints, tips, or tricks, let me know in the comments section and uh, hop into the Discord. That's where I'll be all the time. And you can hang out with me and I'll say hi. Hi. So everyone, uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, helps out my channel deliver so much more to know. If you'd like these videos, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day. Afternoon, evening, good night. Oh my gosh, she's got to pee. She's got to pee. All right, I'm not going to do a Chuck Berry. not going to do a Chuck Berry. Uh, everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. And I'm going to check you out right here again in Two Point Hospital. Next time. Are you tooting? Man, did you just toot? Ah. Refreshed. Out of nowhere, I just heard a... That was very funny to me. Because I'm a simpleton. <laughs>